Hey guys. Happy day. What's today? I feel like it's a Friday, but it's really um, Thursday. Red light camera ahead. <laughs> hey guys, hey guys. So, welcome back. Thanks for the support. Thanks for everybody that supports my channel. Thanks for everybody that buys my courses and trainings and joins my team. You know, the internet literally has changed my life where, you know, I've been able to sell my brain cells and, you know, make an impact. Use the left lane to take a slight left turn onto Queens Boulevard. Where I've been able to you know, make an impact in people's lives simply from in three quarters of a mile, turn left onto Union Turnpike. Simply from YouTube videos and Instagram posts. So I am very, 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 very grateful for the for the internet and I tell people that the internet can and will change your life if <coughs> if you know how to use the internet so the internet is a game changer and you don't have to work two and three and five jobs you can work one job and become a YouTuber and talk about things you're passionate about, become an affiliate marketer, um, sell training courses, um, sell affiliate stuff, do crypto, invest in stocks. I mean, you know, there's so, 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 so many things that, you know, you could be doing um, besides getting a second job, you know, people getting two and three jobs and you missing out right on the precious moments you know because everybody you know we work so we can take care of our families right that's why everybody works right you got families to take care of we got our parents or our kids spouse and that's why people work you know but what's the point? in half a mile turn left onto union turnpike <laughs> but what's the point in working and you can't never enjoy your family or you can't never go to a dance recital for your daughter or you can't never get to a football game for your son or you know you can't travel what's the point in, in working you know all these hours and all these jobs and you can't enjoy you know the money so you know we got to really revamp and take a step back and say what's important now right what's important now right what is important to me now my job is not important to me right yeah of course making money is but me spending so many hours at my job is not important right because those hours are taken away from the love that i can be giving my child the love i can be giving my spouse the love i can be you know doing something that i love to do you know, and, and it's, it's, it's sad because a lot of people work jobs, make money, and have nothing to show for. They don't even have anything to show for their job. They don't have nothing to show for it, right? The kids hate them. Their spouse hate them. You know, they don't have relationships with their kids. Their kids run amok. You know, the spouse, uh, you know, doing what the spouse want to do, like, you know, people, we have to revamp, man. You know, in 2020, when the pandemic hit, you know, we was able to revamp and say, what's important now? My family's important. My children are important. My spouse is important. Yeah, my money's important too, but money's not everything, right? Because sometimes money can give you <clears throat> a peace of mind, right? It can. You know, sometimes money cannot give you a peace of mind. Sometimes money, having more life. money gives you a bigger fucking headache. So, but anyway, this is not what this video is about. So, I was reading an article 
I was reading an article and the article talked about how 59% of black women 59% of black women 59% stay in the right lane of black women are in not a mile, keep right onto Grand Central Parkway service road <clears throat> are not invested in nothing that's a lot of women that's a lot of black women and that's just in America 59% of black women are not invested in anything they don't own homes right they don't own <clears throat> stocks they don't Continue own straight, crypto then use the left lane they don't own right businesses they don't own businesses. They don't own cars, right? They don't own any assets and they don't buy any asset. That's a lot of women, a lot of women, right? Because if 59% of black women don't have Use assets, the keep right onto Grand Central Parkway Service Road. then guess what? They're gonna teach their children the same thing that they know which is to not have right. any asset to, you know, to not have, uh, you know, any assets either, right? Use the left lane to keep left. To not have any assets either, right? So it's disturbing because I said, well, then what are these women doing, right? What are these women doing that have no assets? So I started Googling, like, you know, what do black women do? Like, these 59%, what are they doing? <clears throat> so that means only 41% of black women actually got some something, got a house, got a business, got cars. Right, got some assets. So what are the other 60% doing? So I started Googling black women <clears throat> and you know, why black women don't have assets. So do you know the number one thing that came up? Black women don't have assets. Well, 60% of them don't have assets because they don't have spouses. That's what the article, that's what the, when I Google, you can Google it yourself. They don't have spouses. Meaning they don't have a husband, right? To help them take care of what they need to take care of. And then 59% of those women are single women. Single moms. Right? So they don't have an additional income coming in to their household so that they can invest because they got to take care of their children. They got to pay the rent. They got to be the man and the woman. So that means they got to, you know, try to make ends meet the fucking best way that they can. So 59% of those women. You know, a lot of them are single or single mothers. So they don't have additional income. And then on top of that, on top of that, you know, it was so much. I couldn't read everything. On top of that, black women are at the bottom of the potent toll. The totem pole or whatever, however you say it. <laughs> black women are at the bottom. Why right? we get paid less in the marketplace we get paid less at the workplace and we're the most disrespected <clears throat> wow meanwhile black women dominate 
heart disease, heart attacks, depression, low self-esteem, anxiety, loneliness, lack of confidence. So we dominate the negative areas and we don't even show up in the positive areas. Wow. So that made me think like, wow, if 59, almost 60% of women are single, don't have a spouse, single mothers, right? Suffering from depression, suffering from anxiety, suffering from loneliness, suffering from low self-esteem. It's like nobody gives a fuck about the black woman then. Only thing people want to do is take advantage of the black woman. And we don't have no protection, not even from the black man. We don't have protection, even not even from the black man. The white man ain't protecting us. Section 8 doesn't protect us. Welfare doesn't protect us. So we literally out here naked. We don't have life insurance policies, right? 60% of those women may not even have a 401k or a decent retirement plan or not even a house to sell at retirement to have some money to retire on. So black women are gonna work a job until they die or those 60% will work until their job fires them or <laughs> work until their job lays them off and then they go into even a deeper depression. So if they're already depressed at their job because they don't have enough money, they only work and so their job can fire them or their job can lay them off, now they even more depressed, more stress, more anxiety, more heartache, more low self-esteem. I'm grateful for my husband. Now, marriage might not be for everybody because <clears throat> it is hard. Trust, marriage is something else, okay? But the additional income that my husband adds to my household makes a huge difference. I'm not saying everybody gonna get married, but the article said a lot of women don't have assets because they don't have a spouse, because they don't have the additional income that they need to invest. That's why I tell women, you know, if you with your baby father, miles, take exit 23 to if you with your father, if you with your baby father, stay with your baby father get married to your baby father now if he ain't shit that's your fault you pick the ain't shit baby father right you know pick you know pick men differently right but it's sad to see this and we're living in the 21st century guys where you can make a hundred dollars a day on your cell phone I've been preaching this for 10 years. You can make a hundred dollars a day on your cell phone, selling stuff on eBay, Amazon, Walmart, Facebook, Instagram. That's what I help people do all the time. Even me, even though I sell my onesies, right? I'm thinking about selling, you know, women's, uh, even though it's pajamas, I'm thinking about selling like little, uh, you know, sexy lingerie for, for, for plus size women can sell whatever the hell I want to sell, right? I already got the audience to sell it to. 
Nobody should be in lack in 21st century. Nobody. Not even single moms. Not even single women. That number of 60% is staggering. That shouldn't even be that high. With all the money and all the stimulus and all the money people got back from, from, from their, their taxes. Everybody should have at least a portfolio with $10,000 in there working for them, at least minimum. So me, as a leader, which was disturbing to me, I already started before I read this article, I started before. I said, I'm going to create a Women Who Invest Challenge because I did it last year and it was successful. So I said, let me do it this year. And it's more needed now more than ever. So if you're a woman and you fall under that 59% category of you don't have any assets, you don't have a house, you don't have a car, you don't got at least 10,000 that's working for you somewhere, whether it's you know your 401k or you know money you have invested yourself, then you need this class. I'm taking a small group of 20 women. You text mentor to 702-208-2527. Women who invest challenge. Because 59% of women don't have shit. And they're going to work a job until they die because they don't have anything. So as a leader for my community... I'm creating a class, a four-week class, which this class is worth $10,000, $20,000, $100,000 worth of knowledge, right? We're going to be talking about cryptocurrency, getting into it. We're going to be talking about stocks, getting into it. We're going to be talking about how you can plan for your own retirement. We're going to be getting into it. We're going to, start, we're going to talk about making money online. We're going to get into it, right? See, if I can help it, I'm going to help change that number. If I can help it, I'm going to help change that number. If you don't have any assets, you don't have a house, you don't have an Airbnb, you don't have a car that's making money, not just you have a car, because really owning a car is really a liability, especially if you're not using it to make money. Right? If all you got is a bunch of wigs and Louis Vuitton bags and sneakers and your kids got every fucking every damn you know every uh, uh, Jordan every pair of sneakers and y'all don't have any assets and you on section 8 and you on food stamps you're gonna work a job until you die or until automation takes you out or or until your job fires you it's unfortunate because a lot of people don't even have a plan outside their job. It's just like, I'm just going to get a job and hopefully everything works out, right? I went to a seminar last night and I was telling, you know, one of my business partners, I said, people think getting a Louis Vuitton bag is the goal. People think getting a Gucci belt is the goal. People think, you know, having their hair and, and nails and, and nails and shit done is the goal. No. The goal is for you to get better. 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 So you can help your community get better. That's the goal, right? That's why I teach my kids. The goal is for you to get better so you can help your community get better. All white people, they for their white community. Chinese, they're for their Chinese community, right? Asian, they're for the Asian community. Italians, Russians, they're all for their community. Black people are not for our community. We say we are. But why are we still at the bottom of the potent toll economically? If we're for each other, right? 
my friend got a business. You don't even want to promote her business for her. Oh, you don't even want to tell people about her business. But oh, we for the culture. No, we not. You can't even promote my 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 my, my flyer. You can't even, you know, share my flyer, whether I'm a friend or whatever, right? Or if you like me, regardless. It don't matter. <laughs> Someone I know who's black, who's in my community, has a business, I'm just gonna share. That's what I do. If you follow me on Instagram, literally, I share damn near everybody's stuff. If someone literally is, is, is on my on my news feed and I see they promoting something, I'm going to share it. I'm not going to be like, oh, no, I ain't sharing her stuff. I don't want people to know her stuff. Then I'm not for the culture. Then I'm not for the people. I'm not for us then. I'm only going to do it at a cost. No. And that's not being for the people. <laughs> People kill me. They on social media. Oh, I'm for the culture. I'm for the culture. Okay, share my business. Oh no, I can't do that. They don't. They don't. They don't line with my brand. Oh no, no, I can't do that. Oh no, I charge you know fifty dollars for a post. I thought you said you was for the culture. I thought you said you was for the people. Why you just can't share my flyer? Why you can't tell people about what I do? I thought you was for the people, right? But again, you know, <laughs> everybody got their definition of. You know, support. You know, when social media, you can support for free. <laughs> Everybody that follows me should be sharing all of my stuff. Should be sharing all of my businesses and quotes and everything. <laughs> That's the goal, right? The goal is to get better, so you can help the culture get better. So you can help the community, your community, get better. Not a Louis Vuitton bag. Not an MCM bag. Not a Gucci bag. Not a Balenciaga bag. That's not the goal. The goal is not to get on Section 8. The goal is not to, you know, stay on welfare. No. I used to be on food stamps. That wasn't the goal, though. Right? I needed that to help me. Right? Because I had my daughter at 18. My mom kicked me out, so shit. I didn't have nothing. So I had to get on welfare, but I didn't stay on welfare. I didn't stay on food stamps. I didn't stay on Medicaid. I didn't stay on government assistance, right? Some people, that's the goal for them, to stay on government assistance. And then you go brain dead after that. Now you're brain dead. Now you don't want nothing else. Now you're hating on everybody else who out there chasing their dreams. So I'm going to do my part. I'm doing a Women Who Invest Challenge. We're going to have a webinar February 28th. You got to be on the text list to even join the webinar. Because I'm only going to work with the people who want to, who, want to, who want to get it. I could send an email out to my list and get 100 people signed up. But a lot of people ain't serious. A lot of people just nosy. A lot of people just want to see what's going on. A lot of people just want to watch. Folks don't want to work, right? People don't have no ambition. People don't have no motivation. They're not really trying to work. They're not really trying to win. They just want to pray and then hope everything works out. Nah, -uh. I'm looking for people that want to work, that want to get themselves better, and also want to get their family better, and also, you know, want to get the community better. That's what I'm doing. That's my goal. I told my business partner last night, hey, I'm going to continue moving and shaking and moving forward to the day that I die. What else is there to do? All there is to do is move forward and help others move forward too in the process. And that's all I'm going to be doing. Period. That's all I'm going to be doing. Period. So, if you ready to join a team where you want to work and you ready to invest in yourself, right? Because I believe a thousand percent that you got to invest in yourself to add value to yourself. You can't think, I'm going to just, oh, I'm going to just watch some YouTube videos and poof, I'm going to be good. I'm going to just, you know, read a free ebook and I'm going to be good. No. How do you add value to yourself? You got to put money into yourself. You got to invest money into your brain. 
If you're getting a tax refund check, invest that whole thing into your brain. Buy courses, get some books, go to some seminars, hire a coach, put some stuff in your brain to become more valuable. Just like when you buy a Louis Vuitton bag that costs $2,000, now you think you rich, now you think you on top, now you got status because you got a Louis Vuitton bag, it's the same thing in your brain. Now your brain is further along because now you done invested some money into yourself, just like I'm going to the awakening. That damn ticket was $3,000. I could have been like, oh, fuck that. I'm not gonna pay no fucking $3,000 to see Rick Ross and Real Talk Kim and you know Stormy and Pastor Jamal Bryan and Netta Powell and all that. But all those people are powerful people. All those people are millionaire energies. All those people are big boss energies. And it's only $3,000? I'm going. Only $3,000? That's nothing. That's nothing. <laughs> If I could spend $2,000 on a Louis Vuitton bag that don't make me no money, that don't get me no connections, I can't spend $3,000 to get connections? It's the mindset. So, in my Women Who Invest Challenge, <clears throat> taking a small group of 20 women, right, it's going to be a small fee, right? Um, and I'm also gifting one of the women in the challenge a virtual ticket to the awakening. Rick Ross and all the other people I just named is going to be there. Elena Cardone. Use the left two um, it's going to be there. The rich the chicks are going to be there. So I'm going to gift one of the ladies in my challenge the virtual ticket for the awakening. So, Women Who Invest Challenge. I'm just going to, everybody that joins, going to put your name on a wheel or in the bag and have my daughter pick your name. And then you're going to be the one that's going to get access, right? Excellent. But that's not the point of it. The point of it is for you to gain some knowledge and you to gain some skill sets that's going to penetrate through your whole entire family. Who's gonna is gonna penetrate through generation after generation, right? See, that's the that's the real bag, right? That's the real bag. You get knowledge, and you teach your children. Then your children's children teach their children, and that's how we all continue to win, right? If you're broke, see if your mother's broke. Your mother may be broke too. Your aunts, your cousins. Every time you turn around, my cousin asks for forty dollars. Every time you turn around, my cousin need thirty dollars to go get some some lunch. Got to get him back and forth to work every time you turn the fuck around. Then it's a problem. You got to change that. <clears throat> so the information that I'm gonna be teaching is gonna help you for generations, not just for you. For generations, see, somebody got to pay the price for our family. Somebody got to be the one, right? Somebody got to be the rich grandma. Somebody got to be the rich aunt. Somebody got to be the rich mom. Somebody got to be the rich sister. Somebody, if everybody in your family broke, then that's room. An opportunity right there for you to say, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to be the rich one. I'm going to get the knowledge on credit. I'm going to get the knowledge on business. I'm going to get the knowledge on, uh, on business credit. I'm going to get the knowledge on, on, on Airbnbs. I'm going to get the knowledge on how to flip some money. I'm going to get the knowledge on cryptocurrency so I can bring it back to my family. You know, people always say they give a fuck about their kids. But they don't got nothing in place for their kids. They don't got life insurance for their kids. They don't got no kind of um, a savings or investment account for their kids. They ain't teaching their kids shit Accident but how to roll a blunt and, and drink months. and have Still anxiety and depression room. and be upset. The little girl, I forgot her name, she literally killed herself, 15 years old. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, man. It's terrible. 
We're living in some bad times, man. That's why we are in bad times. We have to get better as people. We have to get better as people. The times are getting worse. You got to get better. You got to read books. You got to attend seminars. You got to get around millionaire energy. You got to get around people that are freaking higher than you, not lower than you. You, got, you can't be the sharpest one in the fucking box. You can't be the one everybody goes to and you pouring from an empty cup. You got, when you gonna fill your cup, sis? So that you can go and give out information. You know, I give away game for free and I get paid to give away game. So, <laughs> shit. It's too much knowledge on the internet. It's too much knowledge everywhere. Nobody should be broke in the 21st century. You get my freaking uh, uh, Facebook course after February, it's going back to 197. You could get the Facebook course for $97 and I can show you how to start making $100 a fucking day on Facebook. Not now, then when? And if it ain't gonna be you to get rich or put your family in a position to be rich, then who? I couldn't think of no motherfucking body, so it had to be me. And I couldn't think of a better time than 10 years ago to get started. So now, in two miles, take exit I literally make an impact with videos and make six head. figures from home, making videos and training people. People wish they was in my position, but it took me 10 years. I never quit, I never gave up, I kept going, right? Even when people were trying to sabotage, even my mother trying to sabotage me, bring me down, tell everybody, oh yeah, she's scamming people. My own mother. Telling people, telling people on in there, oh, she's scamming people. My own sister, oh, she's scamming people. She taking people money, uh, you know, and she don't know what she doing. She ain't got no certificates. So my sister said, she posted on my, <laughs> on my fan page and said, oh, don't listen to this bitch. She ain't got no certificates. She can't teach y'all nothing. Own sister, own fucking mother. Own mother telling all kind of lies throughout the family. I could have quit then. I kept going, because guess what? <laughs> I'm the goat in the family. Everybody come to me. My cousin need business credit right now. She come to me. My other cousin need her credit fixed. She coming to me. My uncle want to see how he can get a grant. He coming to me. Somebody got to be the goat. Let it be you. You got to give a fuck enough about your family, even with the turmoil, even with the hate, even with, right? Because what did God say? Make your enemies your footstool. Let them see your glory. <laughs> they either going to continue hating or they're going to get on board, period. Either way, I'm going to still win. Right? Because I'm doing the right thing in the world and God is watching me. You know, so you got to work with integrity when ain't nobody looking. So I'm not just, oh, Coach Tanisha on a camera. And then coach Shanisha and not coach Shanisha off the camera. No, I'm coach Shanisha, period, everywhere. Even to my husband. I'm coach Shanisha, bro. <laughs> so the time is now, friends. The time is now. No longer praying without working. No longer begging when you pray. No. Oh, God, please send me a job. Oh, God, please send me a man. Oh, God, please send me a car. Oh, God, please let me get this house. No, that's not how you pray. You begging. God ain't listening to beggars. And you ain't begging. 
This is how you pray. Thank you, God, for allowing me to wake up this morning. Thank you, God, for allowing me to have my right mind. Thank you, God, for allowing me to make an impact in these women's lives. Thank you, God, for allowing me to be the first millionaire in my family. Thank you, God, for all the money that's flowing to me every single day. Thank you, God, that I got good health. Thank you, God, that my heart is right. Thank you, God, that my heart ain't bitter. Thank God my heart ain't broken. Thank you, God, for the for the man you're going to send me, the, 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 the tall, dark skin beautiful man you're gonna send me this is how we pray we thank God for what we're doing thank you God for allowing me to help 10 women today get in position to make a hundred dollars a day stay in the second lane from right that's how you pray this is how we pray friends not begging because there's people have, who, who's who been praying the same prayer for 20 years and they worse off. You've been begging that same begging. I don't even say it's prayer. I say it's begging. Use the right lane to take and you still begging 20 years later. Don't you think something needs to change? And I'm be talking about this too. And the women who invest challenge. So again, I'm only taking a small group of about 20 women that's interested, right? That's interested in changing their mind and getting connected to other women who's winning and 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 focus, right? If I have something for you to focus on, right? Because in order for you to attract that good man, you gotta become that good woman. If you a bum bitch and all you wanna do is complain, smoke weed, get motherfucking high and drink, you ain't gonna attract no good man because no good man want no bum bitch. It's, it's on period. You think a good man looking for a bum bitch who want to just smoke weed all day, lay up on Section 8, and fucking welfare all day? No. He looking for somebody of his status. And your man ain't going to come, you just sitting on social media. Or you getting on these dating apps. You, know, you got to go places. Men that's about shit, they go places. They're at seminars. They're at events. They're spending $3,000 to get themselves better. They're spending $10,000 to get themselves better. That's the real facts, sis. So I don't know who that video was for. But it was somebody. Here go my husband texting me. Let's make your next move your best move. Let's stop doing the same bullshit that's getting us the same bullshit. Change. 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 Don't be 40 still living with your mother. Don't be 40 and all you accumulated was a bunch of fucking belts and sneakers and wigs. So, text me, text mentor to 702-208-2527 to get on the webinar February 28th so that you guys can get your mind right, money right, and get ready for war. All right, I'm at the Benz dealer now. I gotta get something done to my car. See you guys soon.